Gracious Lord, source of all wisdom and truth, we come together today to celebrate the work and accomplishments of Worcester Prep Class of 2017. We give thanks for the memory of days spent together, for the hard work, the times of laughter and joy. Continue your blessing for all those who have loved and supported these children as they became young adults. Help us to be ever mindful of your presence every moment of our life. In your holy name we pray. Amen.
Good afternoon, classmates, family, friends, platform guests, and faculty. Thank you all for being here tonight. And congratulations for being lucky enough to receive a ticket to get you in the door. <laughs> Before I address these people, I'd like to start off by thanking those who have been directly responsible for getting us to this point in our lives, our families. We know that our parents are a little, sometimes a little underappreciated. To prove this, here are the numbers. As of right now, our parents have sat through seven spring arts and music festivals, seven Christmas candlelight programs, three middle school musicals, four high school musicals, five academic awards programs, 21 sports awards programs, and one raw staff and graduation speech. <laughs> you have watched countless cross country, field hockey, soccer, tennis, basketball, golf, volleyball, and lacrosse games and weather climates ranging from scorching heat, high winds, torrential downpour, and sometimes even snow. You have traveled as far south as Accomack, Virginia, as far north as Dover, Delaware, and as far west as Annapolis, Maryland. Not to mention the fact that you have done laundry, helped us do homework, chaperoned field trips, tried to remember to order lunches, <laughs> made lunches when you forgot to order them, <laughs> made food for the bake sale, and completed a third grade science project. <laughs> you have been our inspiration, and many of our lives will likely be modeled after yours. Thank you. You have been, uh, faculty, I cannot say how much of a blessing it has been to be able to attend Worcester Preparatory School. Our teachers have taught us everything, from how to add and subtract, to deriving and using the quadratic formula, from how to spell cat and dog, fully analyzing Shakespeare's works from different viewpoints. From how to understand the force that pulls us towards the earth, to determining the final velocity of a rapidly accelerating object. You've always been available for questions and for further understanding. The many viewpoints of teaching that we have experienced will be the pieces to which our college careers will be built upon. And I definitely believe that our experiences here will give us a leg up on our future studies. On behalf of the class of 2017, I thank you. And now I'd like to address our class sponsors, Ms. Fire and Ms. Samson. Our class has had many successes over the years. This has been brought on by great amounts of time, effort, and care by these two teachers. These teachers are in-school mothers. They have been instrumental in our development as students. In middle school, Ms. Samson prepared us for our high school endeavors by helping us put on many fundraisers, teaching us many good study and school habits, and by nourishing us with countless amounts of M&Ms. <laughs> After 37 years of teaching, the class of 2017 is honored to graduate with Ms. Sampson as she is retiring this year. Thank you. Ms. Spire took over for our class as we entered high school. Over the last four years, Ms. Spire has put on in a tremendous amount of effort on our behalf. She has led us to victory during the spirit weeks helped organize a memorable prom, and just recently, a fantastic <coughs> senior week. Most importantly, she has prepared us for today and what follows when we walk from the stage. Thank you, Ms. Fire, for all the things that you have done as our class sponsor. We will definitely miss both of you as we move on to college next year. And finally, my last thank you goes to my classmates. Many of the experiences I've had, things I do, and places I will go are due in large part to the because of the people here beside me. It has been a privilege to serve you as your class president for the last three years. Our class has frequently been complimented on the presence and impact that we've made both here at Worcester Prep and in our home communities. On the same note, we have always been a close-knit class, and I hope that we will remain that way as we move into college. You are my family, and I am honored to be up on the stage graduating with you. I will never forget the many memories we have shared, last we have had, and the answer to the question of what do you call fake noodle? And for those of you who don't know, the answer is impasta. I would now like to share some personal thoughts. I have always liked the quote by Woody Harrelson, a grown up is a child with layers on. This quote makes a lot of sense to me as I look back on the past 18 years of my life. We are all made up of different layers. These layers consist of our experiences, memories, and lessons that we have learned throughout our lives. When we first started school, we arrived only with the layers from our homes. 
This new experience of starting school was very frightening, but it gave us the opportunity to add to our limited exposure. The layers started to pile up quickly as we grew. Some of them were not the easiest to add, especially when life threw us curveballs and or we ourselves made missteps. But nonetheless, we have grown up, we have matured, we have become adults, we have added layers. So here we are today, and I ask myself, are we ready? Do we have enough layers? Do we have the right ones, or are we missing some? The answer is quite clear. We are ready. We have constructed this foundation on which our college and future lives will be built upon. This foundation ensures that we are prepared for whatever the future brings. As we move on in our lives, we will continue to add more layers. From this day forward, I wish that every layer that you add to your being is as wonderful and positive as the people you've become. Good luck next year, and I cannot wait to see how far you will go. Thank you. Please welcome, from Worcester Prep Class of 1993, and President of the Alumni Association, Steve Green. Good afternoon, graduates. 100 days ago, I stood before you representing the Worcester Prep Alumni Association at our annual 100-day breakfast. Hopefully you remember me. <laughs> At this event, you heard from myself, as well as distinguished alum Bobby Rosales from the class of 1989, who reflected on his years here at the school, as well as his impressive aviation career at the U.S. Navy. Bobby and I on that day encouraged each of you to relish your remaining days at Worcester Prep and to not wish them away, because you, they would fly by. We hoped it reminded you that your senior year is a special time of your life and to embrace the experiences lying ahead of you. By all accounts, through your teachers and your parents, you have lived these last 100 days well, capping off your studies in solid fashion, amazing us on this very stage in the Adams family, winning nearly every bragging right achievable in the sports fields, being the beautiful people that you are at the prom, and enjoying your senior trip to California. You're certainly an impressive group of students in and out of the classroom who have shown during your time here you're carrying ways towards each other. You have made your school proud and your alumni association proud. So I remember sitting where you were 24 years ago this month. And I trust and hope you share the feelings that I felt back then, ready to close this chapter of your life and incredibly anxious to start your new journey, but grateful for all the experiences that came your way during your days at Worcester Prep. So on behalf of the nearly 1,400 members strong Worcester Prep Alumni Association, we congratulate you and welcome you as our newest members, and we want you to stay in touch with your alma mater. While we enjoyed watching you excel in your years here, we are equally anxious to follow you as you move on to your next journey in college. We want you to keep in touch with your alumni association and your school. So as a means to accomplish this and make it easier for you to guys, two members of your class have agreed to serve as liaisons to our association. We will call on these two gentlemen in the years ahead to facilitate communication between our association, your alma mater, and you as alums as you go your separate ways. We look forward to your continued involvement in Worcester Prep and its future. So remember us and we will remember you for sure. So our two 2017 alumni liaisons from the class of 2017, Ross Stepman and Davis Taylor. They can come forward. This student must be one who has served on the staff of the newspaper and has demonstrated excellence in both the skills of writing and journalism. 
The award is presented in memory of Richard Lohmeyer, who was a newspaper publisher and editor for 50 years of his life before his passing in 2005. In addition, he was the father of four Worcester graduates, including me. So during his life, Lohmeyer was one of Worcester Prep's most vocal cheerleaders, believing he provided his children the foundation necessary to excel in higher education and professional life. It is fitting that this award be given in his honor. The 2017 recipient of this scholarship is Julie Talbot. Student Government Association recognition, please welcome Michael Schaefer, faculty advisor. <laughs> as the SGA advisor, I would like to present this gavel to Amy Leeses for her service as SGA president. Citizenship Award is Mrs. Lynn Murray. Mrs. Murray is a member of the Worcester Preparatory School Honorary Board and <coughs> served on the founding board of trustees for over 40 years. She served as past regent of the General Weiner Chapter of DAR and registrar of the Maryland State Society of DAR. Please welcome Lynn Murray. Ladies and gentlemen, I always look forward to this event when we can honor one of our graduates as a good citizen. The General Levin Winder chapter joins the 3,000 other DAR chapters nationwide in recognizing character, leadership, and scholarship. Our chapter is happy to present the winner with our award and a gift certificate from Barnes & Noble. Our honoree has been a student at Worcester Prep since she was in kindergarten, and we wish her every success in her career at Virginia Tech, and I'm sure that will be the case. Congratulations to Lee Marshall Lingo. To present the Sons of the American Revolution Citizenship Award, please welcome Ray Jackson, President of the Captain John Smooth Chapter, Maryland Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Francis Tavern in New York City 
A gentleman, a doctor from California, thought that uh, the order of the uh, organization for the rest of the army, because of the, he had established the uh, uh, organization for the generals and the officers of the thing, that he decided that the other members of the Revolutionary War and their forthcoming patriots uh, through bloodline should also be honored as members of the Sons of the American Revolution. And in 19, this was established in 1887. And in 1916, Congress established the, uh, recognized the uh, Sons of the American Revolution. And so enacted a law providing for that activity. And the National Society of Sons of the American Revolution throughout the nation provide an honor of a good citizenship award to an outstanding citizen of the member of the graduating classes of all the high schools in the country. And uh, our, our chapter has supported this effort for many years. And I'd like to introduce you to your graduate who has been outstanding citizenship through his efforts and his life at this level. And I hope that he will continue to do so in the future. And uh, National Society of Sons of the American Revolution um, recognized Thomas Davis Mears. American Legion School Citizenship Award is the highest recognition that the American Legion presents to youth. This award recognizes the possession of those high qualities of courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service which are necessary to the preservation and protection of the fundamental institutions of our government and the advancement of society. Two awards will be presented on behalf of the Boggs Disharoon American Legion Post 123. The recipients of the American Legion School Citizenship Award are Stormy McGinnis, Josh Willie. Dishroom American Legion Post 123 presents a $1,000 scholarship award to two Worcester Preparatory School students who represent the high qualities of citizenship and patriotism. The recipients of the American Legion Scholarship are Caroline Savage.
Dan Freed Music and Performing Arts Award is presented annually to a graduating se senior who, during four upper school years, has made significant contributions to the Music and Performing Arts <coughs> Program here at Worcester Preparatory School. The award was established in memory of Dan Freed, who for 22 years led our middle and upper school music program, directed our choirs, and produced our upper school musicals before retiring in 2014. Dan touched the lives of his students and our school families with his warmth and talents in many meaningful ways. The award is accompanied by a $1,000 scholarship provided through a scholarship fund established by his family and friends. The 2017 recipient of the Dan Freed Memorial Music and Performing Arts Award is Davis Taylor. understanding of and appreciation for the role of history in current events and demonstrated character at the highest level during the upper school years. The award is established in memory of Franklin W. Love Jr. who was a member of the Worcester Preparatory School faculty for more than three decades. His dedication to our school and its students and his service as a teacher, a counselor, a mentor, and a friend exemplify the best traditions of Worcester Preparatory School. The award is accompanied by a $2,000 scholarship established by his sister and his cousin. The 2017 recipient of the Franklin W. Love Memorial Scholarship is Maggie Kuchu. Children's Theater is a nonprofit organization whose goal is to introduce children of all ages to the wonderful world of performing arts. Proceeds from the productions are used to help children participate in performing arts summer camps and for scholarships for young adults who have participated in one or more productions, donated time to the community, or will be majoring in the performing arts in college. The recipient of the Children's Theater Scholarship is a young lady that has participated in several productions and has donated many hours of her talent and time to the children in our community. Isabel Bashir. outstanding contributions to the Performing Arts program. The award was established in memory of Aaron Mullen, a beautiful second grade student who loved music and drama. The award is accompanied by a scholarship provided through an endowment fund established by Dr. Thomas Mullen. The 2017 recipient of the Aaron Brooks Mullen Memorial Award for outstanding contributions to Performing Arts is Chandler Dennis. <laughs> to present the Ocean Pines Golf Club Scholarship, 
please welcome Bob Long. WGMD Sports Booster sponsor a scholarship awarded to two senior scholar athletes from each of the high schools in their listening area. The two seniors from Worcester Prep will receive a $250 scholarship and are eligible to receive a $1,500 scholarship. It is my privilege to recognize our recipients. The winners of the WGMD Sports Booster scholarships are Lee Lingo, Club of Ocean. 
Ocean City is pleased to present a $1,000 scholarship award to a member of the Worcester Preparatory School, class of 2017. The recipient of the Atlantic Club Scholarship is Nico Alexander. <laughs> provided by Giant Foods Incorporated to students who, through a competitive process, demonstrate academic merit and contributions to the school and community. These awards are valued at $4,000 per year and are renewable for up to four years. It is my pleasure to present the Giant Foods Izzy Cohen Memorial Scholarship to Paul Townsend. South Point Association Scholarship Award in the amount of $250 to Amy Leeses. The Scholarship Committee of the Art League of Ocean City provides a scholarship award of $1,000 for a student to pursue a college degree in the visual arts. It is my pleasure to present the Art League of Ocean City Scholarship for 2017 to Tate Shocker. for outstanding sportsmanship, perform with superior ability in athletic competition, and excel in academic work. Winners receive a $1,000 scholarship from Mount Air Farms and are entitled to, into a competition to be named Athlete of the Year and receive an additional $2,500 scholarship. The recipient of the WBOC Mount Air Farms Scholar Athlete Award is Lee Lingo. <laughs> to present the Decker Theater and Music Award and the Ocean City Quota Club Award, please welcome Cindy Hudson. The Decker Theater and Music Award is given to a student who has a love of theater and music and who plans to continue to work in these areas in college. This award is given in the honor of Alan and Mark Decker, both WPS graduates, who continue to be involved in the performing arts. This year, the Decker Theater Award goes to a student who is in the chorus and ensemble. She has performed in major roles in our upper school musicals, including Cinderella, and this year as Morticia Adams in The Adams Family. It is my pleasure to present the Decker Theater and Music Award to Sambina Hampton.
scholarship to a graduating senior who has made outstanding contributions to the community. This award is based on the student's essay regarding the importance of community service. As scholarship chairperson, I was privileged to have read all the essays. Worcester's recipient has learned the understanding of selflessness and has gained a passion for volunteering. Her hours of volunteer work at both a nearby elementary school and the Humane Society have evoked a strong compassion for others, taught her the value of listening, and expanded her empathy to others. I am pleased to present this scholarship to Nico Alexander. <laughs> The Ocean City Lodge of Protective Order of Elks presents scholarships to worthy high school graduates, graduates who exemplify the qualities of community service and scholarship valued by the Elks. As part of the annual Dennis Carroll Scholarship Awards program, a $1,000 scholarship per year for four years is awarded to an Ocean City Elks Lodge. It is my pleasure to present the $4,000 Ocean City Elks Lodge Scholarship to Claire Riley. <laughs> to present the State of Maryland Delegate Scholarships, Please welcome Delegate Mary Beth Perosa of the Maryland House of Delegates, District 38C. Graduates, I first want to thank you all for this kind invitation to be part of your special day. And I have to admit, though, when I come here, I do automatically straighten up around Headmaster Tolbert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. I feel very comfortable here. Many of you know that um, I have family members that attended here and a sister that graduated from Worcester Prep. And also, looking at the class, I taught some of you in Sunday school. So you all are near and dear to my heart. I also wanted to take the opportunity, because this is a State of Maryland scholarship, to send greetings to you, to the seniors, uh, from Governor Hogan. And I can tell you that he is proud of you. I can also tell you that he would say right now, he would ask you, and I'm going to ask on his behalf, for you all just right now to take a moment to recognize your teachers and all the family at Worcester Prep your families, your family, your grandparents, your extended family, everybody over the years who sacrificed for you, shared their love and support to get you to this point. I'd like you all to make some noise so they can hear it. scholarship is administered by the Maryland Higher Education Commission and it is awarded to students who attend a Maryland community college or, or university. I have a committee that helps me go through the applications, um, a couple of retired teachers that help guide and go through the, through the applications and they are based on both financial need and merit. This year I'm very excited that we have three recipients from Worcester Prep that are receiving the State Delegate Scholarship. The first one, um, I was also very impressed with her community service that was noted earlier at a local elementary high school. And also what she said in her essay, she probably didn't realize we would quote from her essay, but here it goes. She basically said that that experience taught her how to be patient and to listen, traits that you certainly will need as you all move forward. And the recipient goes to Nico Alexander. <laughs> the second recipient, a 
again. And also, um, I understand that, Nico, you're going to University of Maryland College Park, so we're excited about having you come up across the bridge. And the next, the next recipient um, has made a decision to go to St. Mary's College, and I was also impressed with her involvement in the Appalachian Project, and that experience um, impressed her to donate her time and talents to the underserved and underprivileged in our own home community here. And the second recipient is Olivia B. The third recipient plans to go to the University of Maryland College Park. And again, I was impressed with her many activities, Reese Across Maryland, um, the Ward Museum, and the Humane Society. And I'd like to present the scholarship, the delegate scholarship, to Claire Riley. <laughs> and in closing, I have a simple message to the seniors. Be humble and be grateful always, and you will always be blessed. Congratulations and God bless. The State of Maryland Merit Scholarship Award is presented each year to students in the top 5% of the graduating class. The 2017 Maryland Scholastic Awards go to three students. Sabina Anthony. <laughs> Regan Lingo. Award is presented to a graduating senior who has shown an interest and excitement in the beauty of mathematics beyond what is required in the classroom. This senior, selected by the mathematics faculty, is one who has displayed an appreciation of mathematics demonstrated by intellectual curiosity and intuitive insight. The award is accompanied by a $1,000 scholarship provided by the family of a former recipient of this award. The recipient of the William E. Kelly Memorial Mathematics Award for the class of 2017 is Zach Wilson. The Robert Lee Ing Edwards Memorial English Award is presented to a graduating <coughs> senior who has demonstrated excellence in the subject of English. The recipient of this award must possess an outstanding passion for English that goes beyond the mere purely academic, displaying commendable creativity, intellectual insight, a flair for the written word, and classroom leadership. The award is accompanied by a $1,000 scholarship provided by Sarah Carlson in memory of her father, Robert Lee Edwards, who established the Sarah Chase Carlson Scholarship for an upper school student to attend Worcester Preparatory School. The recipient of the Robert Lee Edwards Memorial English Award is Chandler Dennis. <laughs> the Libby Bach Memorial Novel Award is presented in memory of a wonderful Worcester student who had a great appreciation of literature. Each year, this award is presented by the English department to the member of a graduating class who demonstrates a love and appreciation of literature, a fervent enthusiasm for learning, and a holistic mastery of literary works on many levels. It's my pleasure to present the Libby Bach Memorial Novel Award to Ava Schwartz. The 
Merit Scholarship Board annually recognizes a select group of students each year in the National Merit Scholarship Competition based on their high scores on the preliminary scholastic aptitude test taken in the junior year. The following students receive special commendation. Please come forward to receive your certificate. <coughs> Sambina Anthony. Nikhil Moonbrook. Zach Wilson. <laughs> Receiving special recognition as a National Merit Finalist and National Merit Scholar, Ava Schwartz. Scholars: Isabel DeShield, Melissa Laws, Owen Nally, Patrick Petrera, Julie Talbert, Zach Wilson, Lily Ezekiel. The following student has been recognized as an Advanced Placement Scholar with honor, Ava Schwartz. The following students have been recognized as Advanced Placement Scholars with distinction, Sabina Anthony. Nikhil Moondra, Rainy Parker. Please join me in congratulating you. <laughs> the Best All Around Senior Award is presented to a student who has distinguished himself or herself through strengths in citizenship, leadership, and contribution to the school throughout the year. The student is chosen by a written vote of the faculty, and the award is accompanied by a gift from the Board of Trustees. The recipient of the Best All-Around Senior Award is a member of the National Honor Society, the National Art Honor Society, and the International Thespian Society. He was an editor of the yearbook staff, played varsity soccer, and was a member of the stage crew for the musical all four of our school years. Additionally, he's been president of his class for three of his four high school years. It's a pleasure to present the best all-around senior award to Rolf Steckson. Students receiving these awards have maintained the highest cumulative grade point averages in their major subjects for all four upper school years. The awards are accompanied by gifts from the Board of Trustees. The salutatorian for 2017, with a four-year advanced placement grade point average of 99.857%, is Reagan Lingo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
still call you kids? <laughs> Their college choices are listed in your program. But the 56 members of the class of 2017 will be attending 38 different colleges and universities in 17 different states. The graduates have received numerous academic and merit scholarship offers. The list is too long to read. There are 146 different merit scholarships. However, in summary, the 56 members of the class of 2017 received four-year academic and merit scholarship offers totaling $5,561,457. Congratulations.